Hi everybody, I'm Matt and I'm going to be talking about um, Nexo Senate Bill 489. So, uh, Nexo Senate Bill 489 is the implementation of renewable energy in uh, the state of New Mexico. Um, so rather than talking about why we need renewable energy, because basically everybody knows why, um, I'm going to be talking about what's holding us back and what we can, well, how we can uh, move forward. So basically there's three schools of thought of why um, we haven't implemented renewable energy so far, and they're basically, they come down to technical issues, economic issues, and social issues. Uh, the most important, important of these being the economic issues. Of the economic issues, I would say that the most important is lobbying. Um, as you can see, um, this brown represents the lobbying of fossil fuels, and this green up here represents the amount of money spent in the past 16 years of um, renewable energy lobbying. And um, it's about $2 billion spent um, for renewable energy, which seems like a lot, but when you realize that the fossil fuel industry, the transportation industry, and the utilities are outspending our environmental groups by almost 10 to one. So um, when we talk about the industrial revolution, we talk, we think about um, coal-fired power plants, but that wasn't necessarily the case until uh, toward later in the century. Um, at mid-century, it was only 5% um, coal-powered, and as we started to run out of uh, charcoal and wood and crop residues, which we were using, uh, we started to move toward coal at about 10% increments per decade. Um, so the reason why it will be harder for us to transition from renewable energy to renewable energy are the following reasons. Uh, first of all, the demand for energy is much higher, obviously, as the human population continues to grow exponentially. Um, there's a strict scientific timetable that hasn't existed before. And the movement is originating from an environmental standpoint rather than an economic standpoint, which makes people more reluctant to change. So the Energy Transition Act um, is modeled after these previous global energy transition, transitions and aims to reduce the economic and social burdens that arise uh, from discontinuing a service with such a high demand that employs so many people. So the uh, requirements are set in five to 10 year increments and as you can see, uh, we're supposed to be 20% by 2020, 40% by 2025, 50% by 2030, 80% by 2045, and 100% by 2045. This bill also provides uh, financial incentives to encourage public utilities to produce or acquire renewable energy earlier than required. And it also provides assistance, severance, and job training to those who are losing their jobs. So in conclusion, New Mexico has the potential to be uh, the number one renewable energy producer in the world with as much wind and sun as we get. Um, obviously this bill isn't perfect, but it's a step in the right direction. And finally, the sustainability movement requires well thought out plans that use step-by-step -step planning, global teamwork, and realistic goal setting. Thank you.